Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to the final episode of the season in my AC Milan Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And I'm starting the episode here because Stefan al Sharawi has decided to stay at AC Milan because we have qualified for the Champions League now uh, through our results, uh, finishing this season uh, in that good position, third. But yeah, we still have to play that qualifying game uh, early next season. Well, technically... It's not over. We could potentially finish second if we... We're going to have to rely on Inter to lose, but I'm just going to expect they're going to win. So I'm just going to say we're finished third for now. We've got the better goal difference, even though the results between the teams is what's more important. So, yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? Nah, it's not going to happen because Inter... Yeah, we drew against them, then we lost last time against them. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. We have finished third. So we do still have to play a qualifying game early next season. But either way, we're still, we're still technically in the competition. So either way, that's really, really good. Um, he had a good season as well. 20 goals, want to keep him. Uh, but there's still so much interest in our PSG being added to that. They weren't interested before, I don't think. So offers could still potentially come in, but he wants to stay now. And we shouldn't have that problem for players asking to want to leave to a team that's playing in Champions League because we've already made it. So uh, anything interested here? Um, the former AC Milan players, I don't see the point. Why would we want to know former AC Milan players like Thiago Silva? Still, yeah, a lot of money. I think someone said to get him back. So I'll just get a scout report on him. And Christian Zapata, uh, who we sold to Newcastle United. And again, look how poor he's doing for them, uh, ratings-wise. So you've got a couple of players playing internationally, though. Lucas Leva should be heading back to Liverpool. Uh, don't think I'll sign him, though. Again, didn't really impress too much. Uh, Pablo uh, Pablo Amero, um, he, he was a really good player for us this season. Happy I signed him. Uh, permanently and yeah we'll push on and that's I think that's it defending set plays uh, like we'll do defending set pieces but we are going to finish third regardless of yeah if we lose or win so it's more so we're going to rest well we don't really need to rest our good players because it is a weak break I just want to make sure we don't get any injuries so I'll still play a good team you know but I won't yeah play them until their condition is so low or something like that and you can just see there, PSG, yeah, they're unlikely wanting to sell uh, Thiago Silva on huge wages as well. But yeah, I just feel it's time to rebuild and yeah, not just go for someone that's on huge wages and they're getting older as well is probably not the wisest move. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of yeah, changes. Don't forget about guys joining, you know, like Thomas Partey, defensive midfield, excited about him joining. Looks like a great type and he's most likely, yeah, he's finished the season without a yellow or a red card, which is absolutely insane for a defensive midfielder, <laughs> really. And don't forget, Sergi Kristof uh, looks like a pretty good type, doesn't he? He's going to be joined next season centre-back. And we've got players going out that aren't, yeah, like players running out of the contract that's leaving as well, not just those guys. So we do have to rebuild a little bit. There's going to be a decent amount of players leaving, but then some players joining permanently. Uh, we have some decent transfer budget now as I, you know how I changed it, adjusted from the available wage budget and that available wage budget, it will, it will change because look, we've got Amiro coming in permanently, Kristoff coming in permanently, uh, Destro yeah, signing permanently for a bit more wages, Party coming in, but then there's Abate leaving, but Liali coming in and who else will be leaving? Just so you know, so we can confirm that who's expiring their contract. Here we go. There's, there's quite a few players expiring, but a lot are loans. So you got to keep that in mind. But we are paying the wages for them. Like Bacchetti, uh, Amiro will stay. Uh, Van Hinkle going back. Uh, Lucas Lever, Rafinha, unless we sign him. But I'm not sure if that will happen. He may get translisted in second season. Some people say that happens. Uh, Mara Suarez. And of course, yeah, Alessio Churchy we keep for another season on loan, which is pretty cool. Because by the time it ends, he'll be what? Uh, well, he'll be going close to being 29 so then he probably wouldn't be worth the signing so yeah the, that's a pretty good deal that's a real good deal i feel and yeah the ones leaving abiati he's on 25k pazzini on 63k antonelli who's on loan uh on 17 and a half k philip mexis on 100k he must have signed that a few years back does anyone know that specific contract when it was signed because 100k that's a lot he's not that good is he i don't really know uh, but for his current ability, definitely a lot. Ignacio Abate, 45k as well. When you think of someone like where's Al, uh, where's uh, Mattia De Chilio, he's on 42. So I guess it's about the same. But you can see the difference in quality. So we could get a guy like that. 
um, to replace him, like another young guy. I'm sure there's Italian. Is there uh, Muru? Muru? So, yeah, we'll check his uh, availability. I think he can play, yeah, Muru. He can play uh, left back and right back. So, could be very, very useful if he can sign him. And I do want to be signing a lot of Italians. I want to be realistic in that way. But if there's a good player available, and obviously the non-EU rules as well, you can only sign two per season. Um, yeah, that leads me to yeah, heading towards signing Italian players, and that can only be good for the team chemistry. Even though it isn't FIFA career mode or, or ultimate team, um, where chemistry is... But that's just a general thing in football. I'm sure it's implemented in yeah football manager as well, where yeah, if you have players from the same country, you speak the same language... Um, it's pretty much a for sure thing. They're going to be playing better. Also, Christian Maldini's been improving slightly throughout the season. Of course, he had that tutoring uh, by who was it? Adil Rami, and his determination improved, his ability improved. So he's tackling and markings up to 11 now. So at least defensively, he looks okay. If you forget about the heading, that still needs to be really focused on specifically. And yeah, because he's a under 20 player, he gets yeah the. Someone someone else, not me, that sets up the training. And they probably... Yeah, if you have a good rated, like, under-20s coaches, under-18s, all of that, they set up good training, you know. They do, do what's the best for the player. But, yeah, um, he might have... He might need a season out on loan where he's going to play first-team football for a season. He may do that for next season. So we do have him available for loan. So if teams are interested, yeah, we we'll do commit. We will commit for that. I'm not sure if any other players you want to focus on because there's so many. I might do that in a specific episode. Because there's way, way too much. How about this guy? Um, Gamara Ruiz. Mm, he's got okay potential. It's like two minimum, uh, three maximum. What's his potential? To be a decent player, Serie A probably won't be good enough. So he's a type we probably will let go when he ends his contract. Just thought he might be decent from his name. Like he, he's not Italian, obviously. Or what country he's from? Is that... Yeah, Bolivia, I thought it might be. So apparently, this is the time of the season uh, players get transfer listed. Is there a specific reason? Like, they have one month left on their contract or something like that? Because, look, it hits 31st of May. Then all these players that I have some form of interest in, um, yeah, they get listed for loan or listed... Oh, yeah, because their contracts are expiring. Is it here? What is it? Yeah, it's one month. It must be they think, yeah, they can be sold or something. They'll try and get something out of them. So here, yeah, Morone will get another scout report on. I did previously, but yeah, I just don't think he's good enough, especially at 25. Like, if he was a younger player, he, I can see why, yeah, Juve want to transfer list him. Uh, how about Duvan Zapata? Yeah, that's what I want to ask. How long has he been in Italy? Yeah, he just uh, Would he count as a non-EU player because he's already in Italy? I don't really know. And he's never started a game for them in the league this season, but he scored three goals off the bench and nine goals in non-competitive games. And he scored two cup goals. So yeah, he's, he's giving, uh, he's uh, like, he has minimal chances and he does okay in the chances given. So that's something you always have to yeah consider, you know, but again, uh, we'll go. Who's a young player here? Gennaro Tatino. Like he looks like a very exciting player. Like with, I don't know, like he's got like, a bit of an interesting haircut. Thought he might be all right. He looks he looks average. I thought, yeah, a bit quicker maybe, but no. Um, yeah, Duvan Zapata. Any other nationalities or anything like that? Well, there's one way. There's one way to find out. You go transfer, transfer offer. See, he wouldn't go down as a non-EU player. Yes? Is it because he's already in Italy? That must be, <laughs> that must be the deal. So you've got to keep that in mind as well. Uh, when you do, when you're thinking of signing players, if you go rules, does it, yeah, yeah, I you gotta you gotta focus on that word there from abroad, um, signing two non-EU players from abroad. So if they're in, or they're just in Italy in general, maybe if they're in lower lower league and they're a high potential player, but yeah, that's odds for that is pretty low. So if they're in Italy, uh, you can sign them like a first team player. Uh, so that's important. So anyway, going back to Duvan Zapata, is he all right as a striker? But when we're playing with one striker, I'm hesitant to sign a lot of strikers, especially you've got wingers like Al Sharawi. That's also natural as a striker. Even you might think yeah, you might get a big injury. You at least two. You need. Oh, we need another guy for sure. That's without a doubt. We need another guy because Pazzini's leaving. But you think about it, we haven't really used Pazzini. Um, yeah, Destro's played the majority, but you look at the other strikers we have, we'll get off this contract thing, because, um, uh, yeah, Pazzini's going to leave, his contract's running out, and you look at the team, there's no other, just, I know, what's his name, I know Al Sharawi is a natural striker, 
but he can play wing position as well, attacking midfield, natural on the left, natural as a striker, but natural on the left as well, just a guy that plays solely as a striker, like Pizzini and Destro are. So Zapata, yeah, he's not going to count as a non-EU player. Well, he is a non-EU player, but he's not a count because he's not a non-EU player from abroad, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, he'll be available so cheap, so cheap, and he's got potential to be a leading player. Like, that's so... I have to consider that, surely. And there's... Yeah, Torino's interested. Like, 1.4 million. That's insane. And because he's available for loan, we're going to wait. When Yeah, his contract's running out 2018. Available for loan. We could just loan him so it's not a risk. Then put that asking price in the future fee. So I'm just going to declare my interest. That could be a very interesting signing. You must look at Napoli and think, where are we? They... They must have a lot of strikers. Well, they got, yeah, um, Higuain and who else? They've got Callion can play striker. Gabi Adini, who's an excellent player. Insigne as well. So they've got big names there. So you can see that's why. But Duvan Zapata, um, am I just wrong or something? He just looks really good to me. I like players. I always am attracted to players with their physical ability. You look at a really strong guy and they aren't slow as well. Still the 14 pace, 15 finishing, can find the back of the net. He's only had minimal chances this season. So with definitely, yeah, generating the interest in him, um, as you can see. And yeah, he's transfer listed. Um, De Paul is listed for a loan uh, from Valencia. He's played a few games this season. He's been really good. Uh, he's one of those players uh, when I yeah used my own save in the future to see how he looked. Was one of the best attacking midfielders. So, you know, we're going to declare the interest in him. But for a loan... He looks like a player that's going to be as good as any of the other attacking midfielders we have in our team, close to it, close to Rafinha. If Rafinha's not available for loan or transfer, um, he could be another guy we sign up in that kind of mold. So you look at all these guys, uh, you think, are they going to be good enough? You look at the potential. The highest potential here is for uh, Mastali, who's a young player, but uh, his passing's only nine. So for a young midfield, that's never going to be good enough. He's never going to be a really good passer or tackler, if you think a more defensive one. So all these wages we're letting go. You add that, that's um, 163, and that pushes up to 168, and then 100, about 73. Then that pushes into, yeah, so it's almost, yeah, it's towards around 170, 170,000 in wages we're letting go. So that is a lot. And then we're ov obviously bringing some in, so you got to think about that. And then there's just some, yeah, youth players that aren't going to be good enough. Carrick is transfer listed, good player, but aging not really saw all cleverly, but he's running out of his contract. If you want him, you go approach the sign and he wants 43. But again, it's the, the sign on fees, <laughs> which I hate. You know, some people say I offer them too high, but trust me, I try and make them as low as I possibly can. At least, um, yeah, he's versatile, Tom Cleverly. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really 100% sure about him. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Le Ferreira? Has average potential. Not sure how good he'll get. And here, I just always like to say the second option. There's definitely some interest from our side. Can we do a deal? It's too soon to say. And that's good to say even more so now because it's like you're yeah, ending. Uh, we're going towards the end of the season. Want to wait till the off season, you know. Uh, but yeah, the last game. It almost doesn't really matter here what happens. Really. Um, because we are going to finish third. You just want to finish on a good note. See, De Jong is one here I probably don't want to play. But I don't see the point in playing any yeah, any players that's leaving next season. You almost don't see a point. Well, uh, Rafinha is a hard one because I'd really love to sign him. Apparently, he gets transfer listed, as I mentioned. Um, maybe give Montalivo one last go. Maybe try him as a ball-winning midfielder. He's got decent tackling. He's got 14 tackling, 12 marking. So this is really his last chance for us. Or I'll try and... Look, he's on 88k per week as well. I don't think he's shown that this season. you got to say he's come back from his injury, but just got to analyze it the whole way. And I'm going to keep giving Menes a chance to finish off the season strongly. So a big offer comes in for him, hopefully, in the region. Of course, will be hopefully above his value. Around 15 million is what I'd probably eye. Uh, but we'll bring in these young guys. You know what I mean? Pizzini off. Like, even Al Sharawi. Drop him. And we'll bring in where I'll bring in Drazic. And also, Mattia Destro, I'm not sure if it's because he's... He's still got a little bit of potential to grow, and he's 24, I think, because, yes, yeah, it's, it's basically judged... Well, not all of it, uh, the coach reports, but if a player is performing really, really well, um, yeah, he's 
report increases. It doesn't mean his ability or potential increases. It just is, yeah, the, the coach's opinion. The coach's opinion of the player increases because of how, yeah, he's playing. But he's had a killer season. It's almost hard to believe he went through a period of, yeah, like a slump, a goal-scoring slump. He can't even see it anymore, which is good. Oh, he's been so... He still had score, uh, goals, uh, goals where he... Oh, game, sorry. <laughs> Games where he hasn't scored goals. Uh, but he's been creative as well. Scored 10, uh, 10 assists in the league. So, yeah, definitely uh, been an asset to us. And he's got so much parts of his game. Like, a lot of things he's good at. Uh, he's got pace, so he's quick. Not overly quick, but 16. Yeah, 16, 16 acceleration is pretty good. Strength, so he's a bit strong as well. 14. Finishing and headings, 17. So he's good... Uh, like when the ball's on the ground and when it's in the air, he hasn't got the highest jumping reach. But yeah, when it gets on his head, a good chance to finish. Off the ball, 17 and anticipation. Really two important mentals. Uh, Composure's 15. Uh, concentration and decision's really important as well. They're like, yeah, decision-making stuff, concentrating uh, to focus. So so good he is, man. <laughs> really exciting. So any other young guys? Alvaro Medran, dropout Rafinha. Medran is a guy, like if we're going to let go of Montalivo, it's going to yeah, give him a chance uh, to come through. He's got the potential in him and everything set for him to become a good creative player, like just a perfect ideal Spanish player. But he will drop Suso as well, giving the young guys games. Any other young players, Ola John will come in for uh, Menez. Actually, we're training Drazic on the right side, so we're playing there. Ola John's a bit better on the left, very, very slightly. Anyone else here? Any other young guys? Um, technically, Al Sharawi is young, but there's younger <laughs> guys that they need more opportunities Bonaventura see this is on the transfer list for me uh, well Pazzini's going to leave players that haven't left we'll say that Bonaventura it, I'm going to transfer list him very high chance Montari and that's all uh, Zicardo try and let go of him his contract's running out the next season so he's a very difficult one to get rid of Agazi as well is a guy I have transfer listed he's not needed uh, so Nigel De Jong now he's going to have to come back in I don't even know. He's going to have to play somewhere. We'll just drop out Mexis, I suppose. Alex is there on the bench. Huh. Is that it? Is that it? Decilio, Rami, Bocchetti, any, uh, maybe a centre-back last chance. Alex, maybe instead of, uh, maybe instead of Rami, maybe to show me a reason to keep him. Show me a reason here today, Alex, why I shouldn't sell you. But again, wouldn't get too much for him on 450k. So he may be worth keeping uh, just because of that and not selling on, you know. So a lot of decisions to be made here. Uh, but yeah, some like that attacking midfield, all younger guys. It's, that's the future. That is the future. But they have to develop. Like you got, yeah, Hashim Astor, Ola John, uh, Drazic. And they're all got the, well, John has maybe okay potential. Like he does have some potential there to be a good player. Uh, but Hashim Astor and Drazic have a higher level. Look at that training by Hashim Astor. But I feel he hasn't grown. Like, his attributes haven't gone up specifically. Like, they've still stayed. Like, those high ones have stayed the same, I think. But apparently, they're going up <laughs> some attributes. But get to start here. And Dejan Drazic, we're training him to be on the right side. He's developing as well. He's a really... There's no reason why he can't be the Al Sharawi on the right side, really. Uh, in a future season, uh, they've got Strandberg, you know, that cheap, yeah, that bargain guy you can sign, probably not for a top four team, mid-table team, and yeah, the top divisions in Europe would be an excellent signing, and if you could sign him in, yeah, lower divisions in Europe, <laughs> yeah, that would be, well, not technically lower divisions, just, yeah, not as, not like the top five European leagues or something like that, so we'll go in here, we'll say passionately, uh, what else, we owe Payomo after what happened in our last match, did we lose against them at home? That would be crazy. So, again, to cap of the season, you can tell the players are so happy. But look at this overall rating in the last five games for Diego Lopez. 7.36. That's craziness for a keeper. So, he's actually making saves. Because, of course, yeah, we know we don't have the best defense and defensive midfield. Like, our center, two center midfields. Uh, we don't, we got De Jong, okay, he's a very good defender, it's more so our defense, we're, we're going to be looking to improve that, like, who's going to be our big money signing next season, drop in the comments, should we focus on one play, or maybe two positions we could bring in, or, like, a lot of signings, I don't want to go, like, go heaps on the young guys, you know, I want to, yeah, make a difference. Uh, in, with my players, you know, that going to make an impact next season, make an impact in Champions League, maybe we could be a shock a shock team in the Champions League, maybe somehow win it. It would be crazy if I do. 
<laughs> in the first season I get there with AC Milan. Uh, you know, I struggled with Manchester United in it for a long time. So that would be crazy. But yeah, these things happen funny like that. We'll go aggressively. Uh, we owe Payomo again after that match. But you can see the team is not like, I'm not really caring as much as previous. You know, the attention is going to be focused towards uh, the next game. And again, it's a chance. Bacchetti, don't forget, we still have a future fee for him. He could do something. I don't really know. We could use him. Again, leave your feedback on him. Oh, good save, good save, good save. And it's still important to win for morale and everything like that going to next game. It's against Juve. Cup final. Huge to win. And will be a great competition to my name. Like I've said, um, whoa, there's fire in the crowd. What the hell? <laughs> it's a flare, but anyway. Oh, it's a red card. This is going to help us. Luca Ragone is going to be sent off. Two yellow cards here for him on the 50th minute. So wave goodbye. That's just so disappointing, you know, on the final day uh, for him to pick up a reds and in front of his fans as well. Look at all the pink. But <laughs> yeah, anyway, as I was going to say, uh, winning the cup final will be good to put in my trophy cabinet because uh, if you've listened to me a few times in this series, um, I'm sure I've said that I will listen to offers. Uh, like I said, I got one with Manchester United for Chelsea, but that's just a strictly yeah one team save. But this one could be, but I want to achieve something first. Like, you, you, that's pretty much expe expected. But yeah, I haven't really done that ever in Football Manager. So that would be, this could be like a really good save in that way. And if we win the cup final, yeah, with AC Milan, it'll be a good way to kick it off, you know. And maybe we don't have to win the Champions League, but go further than expected. Like, at least, well, imagine we make the final or something. Then I think there would be interest around my signing. But I'd love for it to be a job offer instead of applying for jobs. Same with international management. But, yeah, here is, do we look to win it now? Do we, like, we got to look who's going to play a part in the next game. Mattia Destro is, so maybe we're going to bring on a type like, uh, maybe Menes as a striker, see what he can do, just so maybe he can score a goal, uh, his interest might increase, the interest for him might increase, uh, maybe Church, oh, he needs match fitness, doesn't he, I uh, probably should have maybe started him, but nah, the experience for, uh, Drazic out of all those guys is probably one who's going to make an impact, I thought maybe Ola John now, we'll bring on and put Drazic back on the left side, that's a good thing. I love, yeah, being versatile there. Having those players uh, that are versatile. Who's, wait, who's actually played well in this game? Anyone has got a good rating? Again, Diego Lopez, highest rating. Maybe he hasn't, he hasn't had to do too much. That could be a reason why. Uh, but yeah, it hasn't been one of our better games. You can see why though. Our attacking threats, like the three attacking midfield players, well, the attacking midfielder and the inside forwards, yeah, they're not really amazing players. They're just younger guys. But it's good for the experience. And if we can win it late, that would be nice. And you can see, oh, Inter's actually going to lose. So we're going to be... But we're not... Well, we'd need to win it anyway. <laughs> we'd need to win this game. I can't get too excited. But like I said, the yeah results between the teams we couldn't get against Inter. Uh, Drazic, is he? I'm going to take him off, but I'm not really sure about that. Uh, anyone else who play a part in the next game? Bacchetti, maybe. No, oh, the Shilio at right back. And we'll just bring on... We don't really see... This is the problem. We don't have another right back to bring on. We're pretending here, yeah, we don't have a Barte next season. So we do have to make a right back signing. I'm not saying we don't because the Shilio's first choice. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, that's the situation. But I'll just bring Rummy there. He's okay in that role. And got to make sure, yeah, the Shilio is going to be playing... See, because that's the thing. If the Shilio gets an injury, we'd be dead. <laughs> pretty much so yeah we definitely do need a right back signing but is that the position you're going to spend heaps on or would you just want that to be a cheaper one for a transfer listed guy a young player that can be good enough or a loan transfer so i can still yeah go a big signing elsewhere i don't really know and we could score late there was like 50 seconds remaining there may be an actual goal here come on hashima store now it's rummy out wide can he put a cross in no he plays it back to montalivo again Hasn't really done anything special. Now Rami getting forward. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was a good piece of play. But it's really looking likely that it's just going to end nil-nil here. A board draw it could be in front of the Payomo support. Uh, but here Vazquez on the ball. Tried to play it through Rami. Really good defensively. You just see that his defensive ability is sound. And yeah, it's going to end there nil-nil. A uh, pretty boring game. 
Uh, but we've got to prepare for the next game. See, DeCilio, he came in, um, had a good shift, uh, 7.2. And the fullbacks, again, really, I think they're in their best roles now in fullback on support. We've got that right. And that's what I mean. You need to experiment with tactics. Um, it's not good enough. We should have won that match. That's all we need. You yeah, motivate the guys to go into the next game. Pretty, pretty even game. And, yeah, if we did end up winning that, we would have been on the same points as Inter in second. But they would have ended up being on top of us. Uh, because uh, they beat us and we got a draw against them. So they had the better of the results between the teams. And Juve, they're, they're basically the team I'm going to mould ourselves on, you know? Like, they've finished the season unbeaten. That's what we're going to go for. Like, eventually. It's not even just being unbeaten. It's just how good their team is. That's what... Look at this. Kingsley Coman was apparently their best performer. And he was on. he was listed for loan at some point by them, but now definitely not. He's probably, yeah, he stepped up to a rotation type, uh, but he's a good player. Curtin comes down as a passer. What does he say? Well, to play for a team like AC Milan is what all players dream about. Uh, so yeah, he'd be a perfect signing. Like, they're just cheap. He'll be a cheap signing and we can get him as the backup striker and that will be perfect. And yeah, he's definitely quality and can grow. And DePaul, uh, he would be a nice, like I said, a Rafinha type for next season. Uh, similar ability. I said, what do you think about him? Can play multiple positions. His wages isn't, yeah, wages isn't the highest out there, so that's a good thing as well. Um, yeah, see, Tosotti believes in the passing game. Again, some people don't think I should play the passing game, but um, yeah, uh, assistant manager believes in it as well. So push on a week break. This is probably going to be a huge episode. Probably will go close to an hour. It will be a nice way to finish off the season, you know, and it's been a shorter season episodes-wise because, yeah, we haven't played European football. So here's another update uh, for our training performances. Again, uh, the good thing about the concerning performances is our guys that are probably going to be leaving. Zicardo is going to be hard to sell. I tried to sell him earlier, but look how much he's declining, man. I want to get rid of him. Like, I don't want to see him in my... Are you ever like that? There's this older player you have in your team, and you can't sell him, and you just you don't want to see him in your team anymore. You just don't want to see him there. <laughs> so, yeah, and his contract's not running out, so you can't just let him go. Obviously, you could... A mutual termination or whatever, but or offer to clubs. No one's interested. He's just completely. You can just put him in the under twenties, I suppose. But you're still thinking you're paying him wages. Uh, what is he on anyway, Christian? He's on twenty two point five k. So that's still a reasonable amount of money you're paying him. But yeah, he's just going down, down, down. Uh, but Lucas Leiva, uh, yeah, he's going down as well. <laughs> Not good news for Liverpool and. Yeah, Felipe Mexis, like So you can see why we're going to be letting those guys go now. But you look, he didn't have a bad season, though. He didn't have a bad season for us. Um, he's a pretty good passer for a defender. Look at that, 81 passing accuracy, 7.23 rating. You could see why you would offer him a contract, but nah, 43 he wants. Even though it would be, yeah, bringing it down a lot, letting him go will be bringing our wage budget as a whole, really. Um, down a lot. So Hashima store, he's been impressive in training, but I haven't really seen, yeah, like I said, these higher attributes going down, but he looks a bit better, I suppose, at the start uh, than he did at the start of the season. Pablo Amero, um, again, excellent season, signing him on a free transfer, perfect stuff. Uh, Suso, let's see how he's looking. Yeah, slowly improving, steadily, uh, still has got the potential in him. Uh, that looks all good for me. Uh, goal of the month, team of the month, uh, Diego Lopez in goals once again. I'm, I wonder how many times he's been in the team of the month for that. So consistent throughout the whole season. Definitely will be in goals next season for us. Obviously, signing Liali will compete with him if he decreases. Uh, Mero, of course, De Chilio as well. And, of course, Menez uh, with the interest in him. Uh, is that interest still there? He's created 14 goals for the season. Yeah, as you can see, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City. If Man City makes a big a bid, you think it'll be a big bid. Uh, Dybala, Al oh, player of the year. So glad we can keep him. Uh, view, uh, if you view the award, look at players in previous years that won it. Uh, Pirlo, Ibrahimovic, Milito, Ibrahimovic, again, for Inter, he was so good. And even, yeah, for AC Milan, sorry, this thing came up. See you later. Um, and yeah, Kakard is just look at in the so long ago, big names as well. Uh, Roberto Mancini a few times. Ronaldo, Christian Vieri. Um, he's actually won. He's a, he played for Italy, but believe it or not, he was actually born in Australia. 
well, not placer, but he was a, he's Australian or he lived in Australia or something like that. Like he could have played for Australia because yeah, he was, I think in Melbourne for a period, not hundred percent sure, but yeah, I just remember hearing he could play, he could have played for Australia. So either way, moving on from that, Al Shirai wins a player of the year. Absolutely fantastic. And he decided he wanted to stay. It's absolutely perfect. If he, well, if we offer him a new contract, Make him stay for a bit longer. You have to give him the agent fee, loyalty bonuses. But what do you think about that for Al Shirawi? He's still got like three more years on his contract, so maybe it's not absolutely crucial. Uh, but if he ever wants to, but yeah, he may. He's not going to leave for the same reason again because we're in Champions League. Uh, Destro uh, scored the most goals. When you have a guy on loan, and he scores the most goals. Like Roma, what were you thinking? <laughs> he's been excellent for us, and now we're signing him permanently. Uh, which you probably think is a bargain for what he's done. If he can continue to do that every season, he's probably not going to score the exactly yeah, 25 every season. But if he scores at least 20 every season, whew, that's really, really good. And then you've got a guy like Al Sharawi scoring 20 as well. You're always going to be yeah, finishing near the top of the table uh, with that. Komen, uh, young player of the year. Really, Sh- Shakiri there, young player of the year. He's 23. That must be... Is that the maximum age? It must be 23. 23. Well, I'd like to think, yeah, 23 is not that old because <laughs> uh, I'm 24 in real life. But, yeah, uh, getting older a bit, even though I don't feel that old. Anyway, uh, manager of the year, yeah, usually goes to a team winning the league. So, where am I on the list? How much points have I gathered? Interesting that, uh, I guess, Payomo, they finished pretty high for the expectations. The win ratio. What's my win ratio? It's still the fourth highest. No, win ratio. Sorry, yeah, I clicked something wrong there. I got the second highest, well, equal with Mancini, I suppose. Uh, but I can't vote for myself. So who do we vote for? I think I'll just I'll be realistic and uh, Allegri. Uh, you got to give credit to him. Uh, fantastic season, unbeaten. I'm going to be realistic and not just vote for someone crap to increase my chance of winning it because I won't anyway. Uh, and Destro was selected in Serie A team of the year, and he was the only player from us. I'm going to ask this question now. How did... Where are he? Al Sharawi won the player of the year, but he couldn't get in the team of the year. How does that work? That is a shock. I am shocked how he did not make the team of the year. And Buffon, how did he go? Yeah, pretty good. Only conceded 15 goals. But I reckon our keeper, yeah, could have challenged for that. But yeah, I'm also shocked how Al Sharawi wasn't there. Even though you got the strikers, I guess they chose a formation with no wingers. That's why he didn't get in it, really. He deserved as much as anyone else in that team. And AC Milan given award as best team. Oh. Oh, what's that? Is, am, I, am I alive? Am I awake? Am I asleep? What's this? It says AC Milan. Wait. Hello, what is it? It says AC Milan were today announced as the winners of the Serie A Best Club of the Year Award. How, what's the actual reason behind that? How is that voted by what? Is it because uh, we finished eighth last season? Um, it says, fans of the team were said to be unexcited by the news. That's why, yeah, um, yeah, it's meaningless. The award was given by the players from the set. So players voted for us. If anyone knows more about that award, what, yeah, how does it go? Is it because we overachieve maybe a little bit? Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, why were we <laughs> the best team in the Serie A? So yeah, who cares what the league says? Yeah, we were the best team in the Serie A. Uh, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put that in the title uh, with question marks. <laughs> I don't care. Um, AC Milan, best team in the Serie A. I'm happy reading that. And let's see this. Uh, Italian media, Italian player of the year, uh, Alessandro Falenger. See, I like reading these stuff, awards and all that kind of stuff. I like these. And e- Italian media, foreign player. So these are voted by the media. Uh, Jeremy Menner. See, they're all, yeah, player of the year. Oh, oh, foreign player of the year, okay. Yeah, foreign player of the year, voted by the media, was Jeremy Menner uh, from France. He's French. Has he got any other nationalities about him or not? Yeah, he's just, he's French. He can speak Italian now, though. He's been in Italy for a few seasons, played in Italy a few seasons. But will he be here next season? And Carlos Tevez is voted by the fans. Yeah, he's a likable player, I suppose. Uh, so, Serie A, they're all the awards. Goalkeeper of the year. We didn't even get anyone top three. Stefano, 
Uh, Sorrento from Paomo had a good season, only conceding 23. Uh, Defender of the year, none of our players there. Midfield of the year, none of our players there. And striker of the year, again. How is this voted? How is this voted? (laughs) Striker of the year. Um, How didn't Destro get that? Even get third? Uh, Higuain, average rating, not even above seven. So, yeah, it's not always 100% accurate, I suppose. Uh, but that that can happen in real life with awards as well. Players that yeah, don't win, or you, you expect to win, they don't, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, we have a cup final to focus on. Six days away now. And as you can see, uh, Daniel De Silva, uh, he's a good young Australian player. He's moving to Roma uh, he's officially moved now. I'd love for him to be a future signing for us, but of course, just officially signed. Actually, I, I'm not sure 100% on it, but I think he signed the previous year and he was sent back on loan, but I'm not sure how, yeah, that worked in Football Manager. Uh, but either way, he's got an amazing average rating, killed it in the A-League uh, this season anyway, in this save. Really, really good. Got flair about him, but really we'll have Mashim, uh, Hashim, sorry, Hashim Mastor coming through. Uh, he's a good player. I have to say that. I'd love to see how he goes with Roma. But the thing is, he's just going to be listed as a young star. And maybe uh, as he's pushing through, it gets a bit older. I'll definitely keep my tabs on him. and Or maybe, like I said, if I move to another team, um, I'll definitely keep my eyes on him. Uh, Tycoon Eyes Udinese. Ooh, interesting. Uh, what does it say? It says he's looking for a complete buyout of a club and invest large sums of money. <laughs> is that That's like Man City and PSG stuff, yeah? Oh, man. Well, what did we focus on? Focus of strength in attack or not? Defensive positioning. We've got to work that for Juventus. They're so dangerous if we're going to stand a chance of winning. Uh, see, as I said, no offers for Zaccardo. Going to be so hard to sell. Ask him to speak to clubs. Find a move. Respect. Okay, he's not... What's his problem? <laughs> Seriously. I want you to leave. Okay, Favini. Oh, no. He's our uh, head of youth development. When he's going to... Oh, he's retiring. Why? Don't retire. Please. He's so good. Oh, we're going to have to be on the lookout for another head of youth development. I've never honestly seen a guy that good. Well, probably there are. Like He's just... So many areas he's got high attributes in. He's amazing for a head of youth development. It brought us two young talents and... Um, not to be too emotional about it, but yeah, they could be yeah two players for the future of us, the winger and the centre back. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to replace him, <laughs> that's for sure. And also another one that is retiring, our head physio, a bit disappointing. Uh, he's really really good, twenty. He's only sixty three as well. I thought he could go a few more years, but uh, will be replaceable, of course. There's always there's heaps of staff out there. There's always new ones being generated, like new players that retire, they that become staff. So. Yeah, there'll be always be options coming through. And also, Abiati is going to retire at the end of the season. That's when his contract runs out. So I'm just going to accept that because I was going to let him go anyway. So there's not really anything that's going to change. Uh, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Nothing too different there. Oh, and apparently there's some mind games going on. Uh, Massi Milano Allegri has apparently been speaking highly of me in the build-up to the game. So I've got to say how much I value the praise. So this is where the game not could be... It's not going to be solely one on this, but it could go a big way, some mind games. Um, what are we going to say? I'm just reading a couple of these in my head. Uh, well, this one, one of good people in football. Nah, I take it all with a pinch of salt, to be honest. So much gets said in the press these days. It's hard. Yeah, I think we'll say that one. We'll say that one there. I'm not sure if that will affect anything, <laughs> but we'll see. And I thought I might as well show you the result of the Champions League final in the first season. Oh, well done, Atletico. You beat Real Madrid. Something I can't do. Well done. Well done, Atletico. Amazing. Who did it? Oh, Isco was sent up in the 23rd minute, so that obviously helped, but they did score a penalty, a penalty was given to them, they still got the job done, regardless, getting penalties, players sent off, they lifted, so Ronaldo, he can be prevented, so anytime when I lose against, yeah, Real Madrid or Barcelona and say, yeah, you can't defend Ronaldo and Messi, that's just my frustration talking, you can, you can defend them, that's for sure, 
as a, a team, you can. So all these, yeah, James, Rodriga, uh, James Rodriguez, he's an amazing player, as you know. And yeah, all this other stuff that doesn't really matter to us, though. And look, Amero is Italian now. So does that matter that he's not an EU player anymore? Or he is a EU player now? Because we've already signed him. There's no squad registration rules for that, how much you can have, like a maximum or anything like that. Because he's already, yeah, he's already signed. So that doesn't really matter uh, so much, I suppose. So yeah, what do you do with that? <laughs> so guys, we are finally here uh, to finish off this season. The Italian Cup Final. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we beat Juve for the first time this season? Maybe they're just relaxing after, yeah, celebrating winning the title. You don't know. Maybe having some celebrations, uh, as you'd probably do, uh, really. But we do have some problems here. Bacchetti suspended. Abate injured. Amero and Lucas Slava. I'm more concerned about Amero. He's travelled up to join with the international squad. Surely they must sort that out, like with the... With the timing of when they play the Italian Cup, it that's just a a huge letdown because we're gonna have to play Luca Antonelli, and thank God he's been doing well in training, but he's only started one game this season. I was anticipating that yeah he was gonna play. I didn't know about that, so I couldn't yeah anticipate it, you know. But I'm not gonna complain about it too much. But yeah, being out with without him and Lucas Slave, if we need to yeah take uh, Nardo De Jong off. We don't really have a strong defensive midfield to come in. We'll have to rely on Mario Suarez or something like that. But, yeah, not complaining about it. Uh, Honda's on superb morale. Like, really, whatever happens in this game, I'm not going... The only thing, if we lose, the only thing I'll be a little bit disappointed with is, yeah, I won't have that trophy in my cabinet. That's what I really, really want uh, to start growing my, I suppose... I'm not sure exactly what to call it, just... Yeah, my, oh, my reputation, I suppose. My reputation as a manager. So, starting Honda in this game, he's on superb morale. That's probably the only reason I'm going ahead of him uh, to Suso, I suppose. You just see, yeah, you see that superb morale and you think he can do something special. I'll probably, yeah, pick that uh, too much over someone because it's not like he has poor morale, Suso. But I just feel, yeah, Honda. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> These decisions, man. Now, I'm going to have to... I've got to keep uh, keep faith in my guns, you know, what I've always done in Football Manager. I've had faith in players with superb morale and playing them all apart from the backup keeper, Nabi Atis. So, yeah, Alex is going to play as well. There's actually minor interest in both he and Rami from Marseille. So, we're going to see if that yeah, comes to anything by the time of the end of the season. So, whoo, man, we could do it. Juve's the favourites, but I reckon the best odds for us is obviously try and get a draw. And then, yeah, win in extra time, maybe, or maybe penalties. But they're playing, oh, yeah, they're not playing their best team. That's what I mean. And like to talk about last time, yeah, I talked about it last time. Didn't know how Agbonna, he's actually playing as a wing back in that fullback, like the wing back role. He's more attacking than like Steiner. That's really, yeah, that's really interesting. And they're playing Jesus uh, Vallejo. He's, he's a good young player in the game without a doubt. We'll get a scout report him. Sneaky scout report, yeah? But he's not that high quality right now. I'm not sure if they have injuries. What's Juve's injury problem? Last time we played them, they hardly had any injury problems. So, it would be nice if they did now. Yes, they do. Oh, they're missing a lot because of what we have. So, I can't complain about it, definitely. But that's an issue, um, yeah, with the Italian setup of the cup. It's not really a final. The teams are not being able to play their best players. Look what's uh, Juve missing, though. Let me see Benucci. Would he start? I don't know. Uh, and Kulu. How much games has he started for them? 12. He's not really a first teamer. And they signed him. We'll get a scout report on him in case he wants to leave. <laughs> yeah, had some yeah good report there. Um, Patrice Evra. So who's playing? Yeah, that's why Ogbon is playing left back. Um, then they've got Marquisio injured. Storaro not that good. But yeah, look at these names. Vidal's missing. Pogba's missing. Tevez. Kingsley Coman's been fantastic for them, and Murata. The big player's missing. And Matri, who's on loan from us, yeah, maybe he'll do it <laughs> against us. Who knows? He's been decent this season. So we're getting him back. See, that's what I mean. I say, can we sign a player? Uh, but he's he could be a backup striker. He's only 12 finishing, so I'm surprised he scored a few goals for Juve. It's just because, yeah, he would have got a lot of service, you know? So that midfield's really weak. 
no Vidal or no Pogba. This, like, I'm I'm happy about our chances now. I think we can actually win. They've got weak errors. Like, like Bonner, you don't think he's going to be effect as a wing back, is he? Don't really think so. And Vallejo, not good enough yet. So they're forced into playing a young guy. Uh, Romola. So we're a bit lucky. We don't have a lot of players playing international games. So I'm not sure what's the exact international thing. It must be a South... I think it's a South American thing. But Pogba France as well. So, man, no, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what exactly. But yeah, Romulo. Uh But these are not bad players. They're still good players. Asamo, I suppose, his finishing abilities. Nacho as a left midfielder as well. Andrea Pirlo. Can't doubt his ability. Still amazing passer creatively. But then there's Romulo. See, that's where the weakness lies. And he's a natural right midfielder as well. So instead of having a Vidal or a Pogba there, he's out, they have a Romulo. Romulo. <laughs> uh, but anyone good on the bench? See, they still have uh, uh, Bazalio on the bench. He's got 19 marking. He's a very good defender, as you know, but he's aging. So, like, I actually think we have more chance. Obviously, yeah, it's obvious. But I, I actually... Like before, I didn't think we'll win. Now, I believe we can win with that weakness in midfield. And we're combating it with really strength in midfield. With Nigel de Jong, he's got the strength. Then Rafinha's got the skills. And then you've got Honda, who's on superb morale. What's he best at? He's got some you know, passing ability. Uh, he's going down in training. So that rethinks. Yeah, makes me rethink it a bit. But yeah, I'm more confident. I'm more confident now. We'll go assertively. What are we going to say? Uh, this is a special day for the supporters. Go out there and make them happy. There we go. Some motivating reactions and even not the green lighting up. A couple were listening passionately. So come on. I'm actually excited now. I think we can win. And that's what may, may let me down if we don't. I honestly believe we can win now with the poor midfield they have. Oh no. But they go out wide to Leichsteiner. They could still score early anyway. But no, Alex, he may want to perform. There's interest from Marseille. Oh, good tackle, Menez. That's a crazy tackle for a winger, for an attacking player to make a challenge like that. And Antonelli. So that's probably our weakness in this game, playing a guy that's only started one game this season. Now, Honda, Rafinha, Destro, Destro! We have to take these chances. Destro, I know you're amazing. You've been amazing this season. Just need to step up to the next level, you know? Need to do something against a huge team to bring us a cup. And honestly, I have to do something, because this is a big team. To win cups, you have to do something like tactically wise to change it up. And instead of just talking about it there, I do need to make a change. But I don't know. Like, we've only had 31% possession. We've only had 31%. No, this is not going to work. I have to make tactical changes here. It's not. Um, I can understand why against yeah these amazing teams. But they don't have Pogba and Vidal in this game in midfield. We could still dominate possession. Like... They don't have amazing players in midfield to dominate. Uh. Okay, we're going to try. Be more expressive. We'll go higher tempo and more direct passing. Have to change it up. Yes. And maybe add runner defense. Because you've got the players to do that. Like the, the wingers. And Destro seems pretty good at doing that. So that's exactly what I said there. Uh, what I did there um, after I said, I need to change it to win this. I need to change something. Maybe trick him. That could be a thing as well. But yeah, you can't go out playing the exact same way every single game forever. Maybe for a season you can. Like next season, I may have to adjust things, uh, change it up so teams don't expect um, yeah, the same thing from us. All these things, the best managers do. But yeah, we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. They could be on here though. It could also be the same thing. Could be a mistake. Please, not a penalty. Okay, good challenge. And now get rid of it. Oh, it keeps going back to them. We've made like four or five challenges here. Come on, get rid of it. Oh, my heart is in my mouth. But we've got the ball back here. We could actually mount an attack on goal. But again, they're too strong in the tackles, you know. You've, I feel the best teams, they always yeah make the challenges and my players always fall down. Come on. It might be their chance here. Come on. Oh, I don't have a good feeling. I don't have a good feeling. Ugh, I knew it. I could just feel it. I could feel it coming. And I took the initiative. Maybe whimper it. Yeah, a bit more attacking game, which we do have to do now. It's only nine. It feels longer, doesn't it? It feels like the game's gone longer. You have to go attacking now because don't forget, it's not even uh, Juve's home game. It's a neutral venue, but that was coming. So, and even against Juve when they don't have Pogba and they don't have Vidal, they're still dominating us. Oh, my. 
Okay, there's going to be a highlight. Come on, Honda, take this. Take this. Come on, back to Honda. Honda, dives. Yes, it's a penalty. I'm just like, dives. Well, Alex is going to step up. Interesting. Can't we change it to say Destro to do it? <laughs> oh, come on, Alex, step up and smash it. Oh, fuck you, Alex. You're gone. Nah, you're gone. You're not... You're sold. You're sold. How did you miss? How did you miss? And more importantly, why is he taking the penalty and why is Destro not? Fuck. And I know because he's higher in the list of the penalties. It just... You should be able to change it in the game. Uh, because he's, he does have shot power and he's got decent penalty taking. It should be 1-1. One, one. Alex, you are... Oh, my God. Yeah, what... How come I can't click? He's got 14 penalty taking. And he... Yeah, he takes them with power as well. So, yeah, that's a bit disappointing for me. So, sorry, you're going to be sold next season. And you might think to decide that on a defender off a penalty is probably foolish, but... I don't care. <laughs> really. That's so disappointing. And now they have a free kick from Pirlo. Sets it up for Matri. And Pereira, Diego Lopez makes a good save. And then... how It, it kind of lagged there for a second or something. Like, it was going to go out or... I don't know, but it's 2-0 either way. Uh, it's probably over here. It's going to be too hard to come back against Juve. They just show... Yeah, they're too good. Diego Lopez. Look, makes a ripper save. Not, nothing. Yeah, Diego Lopez. It just tipped it. Uh, into the path of Matri, who's on loan from us. That's see the the script is written that like a a player that's on loan from us would probably yeah put the killing killing blow in. But we say like I'm not going to care too much because the biggest thing I want to make sure this season is to make sure my job is secure for the following season. We did that by getting back into Champions League, um, and hopefully we can settle. Oh my God, Honda's injured now. Like all this, it doesn't really matter now. Uh, uh, we'll bring on Suso, and yeah, we just gotta we gotta do that for now. Anything else we can do? Maybe shoot on site to take more chances here. Um, yeah, anything else we can do? Not <laughs> not really sure. Maybe we'll exploit the flanks instead of exploiting the middle. Just change something up, you know. But yeah, it's not really like this is not a stressing one. If I lose it, oh no, I'm not gonna get in Champions League. We've got the Champions League already. That's all we're concerned about. Um, making the final was an achievement. So I'm almost giving up on it already. Come on, we can still get one back. And give us some hope. Rafinha. Rafinha turning around. But, oh, I hate that. I have hate that. It's been more prominent. Maybe it's more prominent playing on 3D. Because I know I played on 2D for a, a long while, you know. And I never really noticed that being the situation. But anyway. That's just how it's shown in 3D, I suppose. But yeah, it looks really, it looks really bad. Like when your players just fall down, you know. They could be on for another here, Matri. Will he get another? Diego Lopez makes a save. This we still have a chance. Like they're not dominating us possession wise. Mm, Buffon, get a goal back. Al Sharawi plays it across to Menez. Come on, Menez. Oh, Menez. That's what I mean. Against lower teams, yeah, he can score a lot of goals, but we need a star guy there that can smash in goals. Come on, Menez. Set it up for Rafinha. Oh, my God. Another good chance. Deliberate. He just kicked it out. Oh, my God. <laughs> do we have the quality to beat them? That is the question. I don't think we do. We don't actually have the quality to beat them. They're... They're too... Menez, yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. You're not good enough, Menez. Regardless of what you've done this season. When it comes to these big games. Come on, Churchy. He's going to have to... And we're going to have to go... Complete wingbacks now. For Antonelli and Dechilio. They can be... Oh, Antonelli's not bad at that, really. Wait. We want to... Can we play in wing backs? Yeah, we're gonna have to go. Gonna have to go that way. Uh, complete wing back. They're just sole purpose is getting forward pretty much, and instructions will look for the overlap with them as well, and maybe 
low crosses, dangerous crosses into there and push higher up. That's kind of stuff we got to go for. Uh, the instructions look a bit weird, <laughs> much different. Uh, we can still oh, we can still make one more change, but like, who's gonna win it for us, man? Who is gonna win it for us? Destro's had a poor game, but that's so surprising. Like, no one we're gonna bring on is gonna score, or a bigger chance than he to score. Now we'll just do it now because who knows? The impossible may happen, and we might score two goals. May go extra time. Uh, we could make a late sub. Who knows? <laughs> Anything can happen. We could score here to turn it around. A goal would give us so much confidence. Come on, Churchy. Destro! Another save by Buffon. Both teams have had three clear-cut chances. The only difference, we haven't scored. <laughs> now, Churchy, what is he... What are you doing? There's still 30 minutes of playing time left. It's enough time! It's enough time! Al Sharawi puts it home. Come on. Push forward now. Push forward. We can score. And I might... Oh, Buffon near post. I might... Yeah, I'll do what I just said there. Push forward. We'll say passionately. That's the kind of way I said it, yeah. Push forward. Come on. Oh, imagine. Just imagine. Antonelli. Al Sharawi now. Oh, Rafinha, what are you doing? Di Hong. Oh, my God. Oh, again, they... So good at tackling, you know. Oh, but De Jong is... Thank God he didn't give away already. Got the ball! Oh, finish! Churchy! Oh! Oh, my God. Destro. Oh, my God. What's happening now? Rafinha goes back to De Chilio. And he falls down. I'm sure you watching this, you're getting frustrated. Like, you want me to win, don't you? I would imagine. Some people say they're happy when I lose, for whatever reason. Uh... Okay. We need to make that change now. Oh, Antonelli's been really poor, but Alex has been... He's been poor as well. Do we take him off? Because he's got 5.9 rating because he missed the penalty. But we don't have a centre-back to bring on. So what do you do? De Jong... No, Antonelli, do we... We don't have anyone else to come in in those positions. That's the problem. Oh, uh, and Destro's been poor, but he's really good player. Uh, maybe Bonaventura, like a last... A last gasp chance. How's Rafinha done? Rafinha, I don't know, it's, Bonaventura, how's he been going, he's been going well in training, Bonaventura, no, Destro, okay, Destro off, Al Sharawi as striker, gotta make these changes like that, that may be it, maybe Al Sha, his time in the striking position, to step up, because regardless of who you are, you can still have a bad game like Destro is today. Oh, we could, no, maybe, somehow, tackle him. De Jong's still going to be a danger because he's on a yellow. And now Suso, oh, no. The pressure's on him, surely. Surely, like a Jesus uh, Vallejo, he'll be really nervy late as a young player. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Ooh, last 15 minutes. What do we do? <laughs> Anything. Like, we're going as attacking as we could, really. Well, not... We could go route one, get it a bit more forward. We'll see how that goes. Anything else? I don't... Maybe roam from positions. Much higher defensive line. And maybe play wider. That would make sense with, yeah, overlap. And much higher tempo. We're going really all out for it, aren't we? And we've got shoot on sight, everything like that. Anything else? Clear ball to flanks? Pump the ball into the box. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll pump... Because, yeah, we need to get a goal. We need to go as attacking as we can and go overload. Get players forward. we got to do this. I'm almost thinking... To play with two strikers. Churchy. So, we'll bring in Al Sharawi there. And then Churchy maybe deploying forward. Put him on attack. But then you're thinking, yeah, who will play there? Well, Rafinha could. Rafinha could play there. And we'll just play with the one guy in the center there. But he'll still be, yeah, ball in midfield in Diong. We still need that position. Because I know, yeah, go out, yeah, all out attack to score. But if you go too attacking, it's pretty much obvious you're going to concede. So 
Rafinha. Uh, we'll add him there for inside forward. Attack. And well, we are gonna <laughs> we're going for it. So there'll be uh, the complete wing backs we get for. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There'll be seven players getting forward. So that should be that should be. Come on, changes need to be made. Changes, changes everywhere. Last ten minutes. You can't say I didn't try everything in my power. Come on, De Jong. Come on, Alex. Come on, Benaventura. Come on, someone. Antonelli! <laughs> the impossible! Oh, what a finish. And probably from the least likely source. A guy who's hardly played this season. It is not over. Oh, my God. The fat lady was absent. She wasn't there to sing. And the game is still up for grabs. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. Now we're just going to have to alter this way, way, way. And see, we've got... We can still play the same way, everything like that. Fullback. Because, yeah, we, it's not like they have a red card or something. So we'll revert back to the norm. Where it's gone well from us and instructions. I can't even remember what it, what it was. We'll still go high tempo, you know, um... Uh, more direct passing. Uh, pump ball into the box. Off. Play out of defense. Work ball into the box. All of that stuff. Um, float crosses. Uh, take much higher defensive line off. Be more expressive off. Um, but we'll leave the wide play. We'll, we'll leave the way we were playing. Uh, yeah, penetration wise. <laughs> uh, that's what it's called there. So yeah, instead of going through the middle, going out wide because that's that's worked. That's worked, and we'll just ooh. What am I missing? Oh yeah, I'm playing with an extra, but maybe that's the way to go. Where can Suso play center mid? Ba he can barely play there. But if you retreat one of those, and Suso will play the role of a roaming playmaker. So I'm sure it's not his best role, but we already made changes and we have to commit to that, you know. Oh, no, Suso. Yeah, Rafinha can go there. I'm sure some people would have just saying that in your head there. Suso will go wide. And, yeah, Churchy, deep line forward. Yeah, we'll play with two strikers. So, yeah, maybe this is a thing. Like, if this goes well, if we end up scoring here, uh, definitely may consider, what's this, a 4-2-2-2, two, 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 yeah? 4 triple two. Uh, 4 triple two. I may consider creating a, a second formation like that in the future. Uh, for next season. No doubt I'll be prepared. But I'll, or maybe they'll score. Oh, <laughs> that will be like an anti-climax. I spent all that time yeah, changing it up. But come on. Come on. No, no way. Oh, like exactly what I said. And no, I can't be stuffed. Change it all back to attack. That's oh, too much work. Too much work. But they scored right away. They didn't give me time to change, did they? Oh, I don't even know. No, no, I just I can't be bothered doing all that again. If we're going to score, it's going to be through this way. I'll just change it to attacking from from that. Uh, Kialin. Oh, two feet. No. No, we can now. See, that because that, this gives me more hope we could. But, yeah, we need to change something like, to keep doing that, you know. But not too many changes, at least this time. Just bring Rafinha. Um, attacking midfielder on attack. And then De Jong just bring him centrally. Then push these guys up again. See, this will give you... See, if you... That original, that 4 triple 2 we had, I would need additional tactic for that than this attacking one. It just depends game by game. I've said it before, haven't I? Like, I know the, the familiarity will go down, but there's probably like five or six, if not more, different variations you could do in a match. So you can't have them all set up. You can only set up three tactics. So, yeah, you can't have them all. Uh, we'll do the same again, how we scored overload. Um, go route one, uh, what, pump ball into the box it was, shoot on sight, was it on low crosses? I think it was, uh, be more expressive, take more risks now as well, much higher tempo and much higher defensive line, those are all the options I did, didn't I? Um, I can't think of, yeah, the other ones, That's that must be it. And the complete wing backs are going to be applied now, don't forget, yeah, Antonelli, what a goal, uh, what a way to leave. But that's the thing. Do we think about signing him again? But it, it'll be hard because we have to pay for him. Probably won't be listed for loan as well. Like, I think he'd be first teamer for Genoa. Didn't they get relegated? Oh, uh, come on. This is it, isn't it? This is it. 
Oh, if only there was a bit more time. If there was a bit more time playing with an extra man, and we'll go team talk wise as well. We'll say passionately, push for. That didn't work. Maybe aggressively because I got high motivation. Push forward. We'll see if. Oh, they got a, a little knock as well. Five minutes of injury time. Come on. Yes. There's a highlight, but it could be a goal from a free kick. <laughs> it's going to be the goal from a free kick. Oh, are you serious? Surely, if anyone was going to score, it would be us. Well. That's, uh, that's a bit disappointing. What is he doing, the goalkeeper? Surely, all his focus there would be trying to get the ball, but he's focused on getting up. Uh, just again, thing uh, match engine wise. Uh, well done to Juventus though. Uh, well done. They were too good, even with a lot of players missing. Uh, but I feel us missing Armero down the left. You say Antonelli scored anyway, but yeah, just that defending impact. I'll just say aggressively. I'm not happy with the result. They still get motivated. I just felt ugh, we could have won that. We could have won that. But as I said, uh, Juve as a team as a whole, uh, they're pretty hard to beat. And if Alex scored that penalty. Who knows what would have happened. So here, I think to end this episode and to end this season as well, uh, it'll be good. Uh, you can see Allegri wins manager of the year. But yeah, the end of season team meetings, I'll just go through these and uh, we'll end the episode here. Uh, we'll just yeah hold the team meeting and we'll say passionately. These are ones I always want to get right, you know, morale wise. Um, what are we going to say? You're going to need to come back fully refreshed because I'm aiming to qualify for Champions League next time round. I'm not sure, yeah, aiming to win the title. It's like, yeah, very hard. So we'll just say that. And then, yeah, Rami is just the only disappointing one. So I'm happy with that. And we'll say assertively. No, yeah, assertively. Um, yeah, I'm just being... But it's only one player disagreeing. and So it should be more focused on... Uh, yeah, I, I agree. We, I'm happy with the reaction. Yeah, we'll just say passionately. That's exactly the reaction I was after. One player. And he only goes from that. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, good to good to okay. So you take the other yeah, morale increases from all the other players. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, end of season. Uh, confidence review. Here we go. I'm surprised it's not more than that. Because we did. We went to the final uh, of the cup and qualified for Champions League. Uh, what they... Yeah, they're like pleased about... Everything, like Amero and Rafinha, and they're happy. They said it was sat satisfactory, but I feel I put so much effort into this season, you know, all my effort uh, throughout. I feel tired now thinking about <laughs> just the whole season. So we could sum up the season, and we'll just focus on the impressive, like all these guys are going to be leaving, like Pazzini, I want to sell Alex, Abiati going to be leaving, Mexes, and I want to sell, yeah, Montalivo as well. That injury just killed him, you know, and he just hasn't came back as a good enough player. Hashim Mastor, we showed you his development really already. Mattia De Chilio, who is looking good. He is looking good, improving as a player. Step up to world class next season, I think he will do. Uh, Rafinha, is going to be leaving. Would love to sign him. Just got to keep my tabs on him, see if he's available. Mattia Destro has had a great season. He's had a great season. Couldn't step up against Juve, though, unfortunately. That's a concern. But yeah, Al Sharawi in the same boat, really. Uh, he did really well, but doesn't really assert himself um pre-season last five weeks or six weeks we'll just go i always like to do five weeks for whatever reason i like to do the middleman there i just yeah put five weeks and yeah that should be it uh consortium completes udinese took over so that's a big they were the one with a lot of money so who knows what they're gonna be uh bonaventura perfect he's unhappy so i can sell him uh where are we I'm just going to have to let you go in that case. I can't give you the football you want, so I think we have to arrange a transfer. So that's perfect. I love when there's a player I don't want to keep and we say we're going to sell you and he's actually happy about it. Like, he wants to leave as well. So we're just going to leave that there, all that situation. We end the season here. Like, for me, it was a successful one. AC Milan is a tough team to manage, especially for me in the past, but I've got it done. I've got everything right now and we've got the necessary players coming through. Uh, young players that will be stepping up hopefully in the next couple seasons. We're back in Champions League, and this is just this is the first thing we've got set in stone, you know, and we can only push on from here. And yeah, Champions League next season. Here we come. Leave some suggestions for signings, as you know who's going in, coming out. 
uh, which positions as well. Uh, if you want me to focus on that with a big signing, who knows? Leave your thoughts, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.